ado dankwa ekufu ado akwa ko piemu koko processing company na eno eno ocha se abra wo mo betena konwa so no na adwuma no atete se ko ntebe na ene die ejina wo papa papa na ban ani suade hunu enyina ne se obehwe ama adwuma no akọ nanim se eye mfidi adwuma ne nyoma betimi atoto yie na ensan enwubiuda koko has been the mainstay of our country for over 100 years it's very legitimate to say cocoa is Ghana, Ghana is cocoa. It's been the principal source of funds for the development of our country. And the activity has been one of the most important, I think, with the, with the mines. So to have this company, whose aim it is to add value to our raw, or to our cocoa industry, makes you a very, very strategic company in our economic landscape. Unfortunately, like much as what has happened in post-independent Ghana, the company was not well managed. And therefore, by the time you, the present leadership of the company, came to take over the reins of affairs, you had some really, really formidable challenges. The most formidable of which, of course, is the indebtedness. A hundred million plus dollar indebtedness is not a small matter of money for any company, no matter its size. But I'm really encouraged by the reports that I have been receiving consistently of the big efforts, the courageous efforts you are making to confront the past and yet build a successful future. So in deciding the companies that I thought worth visiting in the post-COVID period, you came naturally uh, on the radar as a very, very significant player that I had to be. I want to congratulate you for the, for the spirit which I have received in the presentations of both the chairman and of the managing the director but how you have gone about trying to get out of the abyss in which you found yourself in 2017 and then build a, a successful and viable future. I think it is uh, a story that should be widely told in this country as a source of inspiration for many people in the private sector. But if there is a clear-cut understanding of where you are and where you could be, you can find a way through. And that's what I'm hearing from you today. And I'm very, very encouraged and, 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 and inspired by the, the story that uh, the managing director has just put forward. These are very, very major steps that we're taking together. And uh, I'm saying that the assistance and intervention that you require of government in terms of your relationship with Coco Marketing Company, Coco Board, and the indebtedness to Afri Exxon, is something that we're going to have to do, work on together. But you will have my in, in, instinctive support. And I will be sitting down with the Minister for Agriculture, who's one of the outstanding ministers of my government, that we can find a way to be able to meet the demands that you're making.